What's up guys, it's back again with another GOA 6 video and obviously you know what the video is about. It's about the latest hit update coming soon. It's March 31st. So before we, let's just get into this shit. Okay, so this is the update right here. So I guess I'll just read the two main points because you already know when it's coming out. It's coming out on the 31st. It's version 1.21a. So let's just read to it. So the first point. The hair color change feature has now been revised. Hair color can now be unlocked permanently from any hairstyle that offers it and includes all available colors. So it gives a small example, like it says, for example, if you purchase hair color from Marie Rose's long hairstyle, you'll unlock all 16 hair colors of the hairstyle. And then the second one, all premium tickets that were used to purchase hair colors prior to this update have been refunded. Okay, so I guess that means if you bought a certain amount, you're just getting it back before the update happens. Okay, so two things about this that I actually want to discuss regarding this whole update. I do like the fact that they're revising this because, let's be real, a ticket per hair color was ridiculous and it was also just way too expensive and stuff like that. So the fact that we'll be able to pay for is basically one purchase of one ticket just to get all of the colors for one hairstyle. That'd be cool. That's awesome. However, I can't. Well, actually, I really can't say if it's only going to be one ticket because we don't know the price yet. I'm only speculating. I'm actually hoping it only be one ticket because that would make more sense, which is fine. Um. Given the ability to refund the tickets that you use just to try out the hair thing, I think that's also a really good idea. That way you're not losing out on anything. And of course, the other issue, actually I, just, I didn't even look at this last point where he says, as a result of the revision, all hair color settings have been reset to default. I guess that makes sense if they're going to change up and fix the system. It makes sense to put everything back to default, so it is what it is. And it says, thank you for your understanding. He dead or alive, 16. You can check this out on Twitter. I'll put the link in the description so you can follow it and you can look at it yourself. Um, I actually still wish that the P PC and Xbox get this too. I don't think it's fair to alienate two-thirds of the community because of this update. Because if you guys don't know, the hair color update, it's only been for PlayStation. But Xbox and PC also play this game. Or they have this available on their respective platforms. It would make sense if all three platforms had this hair change thing. It makes no sense to have only one platform have it, and then the other two don't get it. If the other two platforms receive this, it would actually be a cool, a cool thing too. But since I don't have an Xbox or a PC, I can't test this out for myself. So anyone gets this... So after this update, let me know in the comments if anyone gets this update for Xbox or PC if you play on those platforms. If not, we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully in the future they do it. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay fearless.